So yeah, I'm back. I have been uh, very busy uh, making a couple of videos for you all. And while I was doing that, I just thought of something. I'm a big massive fan of Tugs. And so I decided to make a brand new series where I explain Tugs episodes. And I decided that the first episode that I am going to explain should probably be High Winds, which is my favorite episode. Yes, that episode with the gangster Trump steamer is my favorite episode. Yeah. And uh, I thought High Winds was a good episode to start on, because we basically know mostly everything that was going to be in the 20 minute cut version, which makes it much easier to explain. I was originally going to do Jinx, but there is just way too much stuff in that episode for me to explain in a short video, and I would probably have to talk for around like 10 minutes, and I don't want that. So I'm starting off with High Winds. Let's see how this series goes, and in the meantime, let me explain High Winds. The episode begins, and we cut to Ten Cents and Sunshine taking some fuel. They soon talk to OJ, and they discuss that high winds are coming. Then they help Zebedee with his barges. Then... The episode changes from the 15 minute cut, they cut the scene and then they talk to Lily. You might be wondering, why on earth is this scene here? The footage from this scene was used in Regatta. How do we know this footage is from High Winds? Because of the timestamps. Am I saying that Regatta just reused the footage from High Winds? No, I think the crew members filmed one scene for both episodes, which Sunshine and Ten Cents had to talk to Lily. But anyway, what would happen in this scene? Well, basically what I think would have happened, and this is quite interesting, Sunshine would go up to Johnny Cuba and ask him for a tow, which Johnny Cuba would deny. This is why we see Sunshine departing first without ten cents and Lily looking worried, because she knows Johnny Cuba. You got all that? Good. After that, we cut to another deleted scene, one after another. This scene would be Tencent and Sunshine returning and talking to the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard would ask them questions about Johnny Cuba. We also have a really cool behind the scenes photo. Do we also have a behind the scenes photo of OJ talking to Tencent and Sunshine? I don't know what this scene would have been used for, but I'm guessing that uh, OJ was just warning them about Johnny Cuba again. Then, another deleted scene. This is a briefing scene with Captain Zero and Zed Stacks. This would basically be about the Captain Zero telling Zebedee to go out and look for ships in distress. Uh, that's basically it for this scene. Not really much happening, but yeah. Now we cut to my favorite scene in the entire episode, where Johnny Cuba runs into the Coast Guard. Basically, the Coast Guard is on watch after hearing what Tencent and Sunshine told him, and then he sees Johnny Cuba. Johnny Cuba then begins to go. This scene basically plays out just the same as the original one. I don't think anything was cut from this scene. I also just really like this shot. Don't argue, you love this shot too. Anyway, Zebedee is going out looking for ships that need help to get into port. Then he sees Johnny Cuba. And yeah, this scene is basically the exact same as the one in the 15 minute cut. Nothing really changing. I don't really think there was anything cut out from here. None of that I know of, at least. Zebedee then tows Johnny Cuba to the old dock. And uh, yeah. This is basically just the same as the 15 minute cut. Zebedee goes to help with Tencent and Sunshine with Scuttlebuck Pete. Nothing really changing, the exact same. Zebedee then goes to collect a coal barge from the coal yards. Top Hat is in the background watching him, and Zebedee is thinking about what Johnny Cuba would do to him if he doesn't deliver the coal. After this, uh, there's another deleted scene. I think you all know this one. 
This is the deleted scene where Warrior toes in Sally Seaplane. Yes, this one. Uh, what would happen in this scene? Uh, I think uh, this is what would happen. Hey, Warrior! Yeah, what's up? Hercules has the Princess Alice. And then we cut to a scene where Zebedee delivers the call for Johnny Cuba. Basically the same as the 15 minute cut. Johnny Cuba then makes a more threat to Zebedee. Then we cut the scene to Warrior and uh, Big Mac. Warrior arrives after having thrown in Sally Seaplane in the previous deleted scene. And Big Mac tells Warrior that they should go and tell OJ that Hercules has the Princess Alice. Zebedee goes out to actually do his job, he finds the Coast Guard and then tows the Coast Guard back to the big city port. Basically the same, he meets Warrior and Big Mac and uh, yeah, he gets worried because of course he does. Then we cut to a scene where Zorn basically insults Zebedee and then asks him what he has been doing. Zebedee basically just ignores him and then they go and watch the stars docking the Princess Alice. The stars docking the Princess Alice in the high winds is a really difficult task. This is another scene that I really like with all the stars being worried. They struggle really, really much docking the Princess Alice, trying their best, but they can't do it until Zebedee comes and helps them. This is a really good scene for Zebedee and some character development for him. Zebedee then leaves and Zorin questioning why Zebedee did that. Zebedee then returns after the stars have docked the Princess Alice and Johnny Cuba is about to leave. Just then, Hercules arrives seeing Johnny Cuba and Zebedee. Then Johnny Cuba leaves and Zebedee blocks him so that he can't. Johnny Cuba then gets turned in to the authorities. And then we have one more deleted scene where the Coast Guard tells all of this to Captain Zero and Captain Zero congratulating Zebedee. And that's basically the end. The ending is the same as the 15 minute cut and I just really like this ending. Overall, I think this is an amazing episode. Like I said, it's my favorite one. I really like the scene where Ten Cents asks Zebedee if he wants to join the Star Tugs, and Zebedee denies. And uh, yeah, that's the end of High Winds. I really enjoyed making this video. And uh, speaking of the video, it's over. You can go watch another video now. The video's over. You can go. Goodbye!